without objection. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I want to thank my colleagues for supporting uh, this effort and this legislation, which we have dubbed uh, Keep Kids Fed, because that's exactly what we are going to be able to do uh, to help our schools and churches and local providers provide meals for children this summer and help for the school year. I want to thank my colleague and partner, true partner in this, Senator Bozeman, for all of his efforts. We know we're getting back to normal. We're not there yet, and the folks who run our schools and summer meal programs uh, need extra support through this coming year, and that's what we are doing right now. So we just passed something fully paid for that will ensure that millions of children don't go hungry this summer and next school year. And I would just finally say this, you know, keeping kids fed is nothing new. Uh, we've been doing this on a bipartisan basis since the National School Lunch Program was established 76 years ago. So we're just continuing a bipartisan tradition. And I want to thank colleagues for allowing us to be able to move forward on this bill. And I would now yield to my friend, Senator Bozeman. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator uh, Arkansas. I rise today for just a moment to discuss the Keep, Fed, Keep Kids Fed Act, which will help schools and summer providers operate as they return to normal while facing supply chain problems and inflated food costs. This bill is the result of a bicameral, bipartisan agreement that assists schools and students as they resume regular operations of the meal programs. The waivers to provide higher reimbursement rates and universal free meals under these programs during COVID are no longer necessary. However, schools still face unusual times with a 30 to 35 to 40 percent increase in food prices due to inflation and supply chain difficulties. This, bill's pro this bill provides targeted and temporary relief for the 2022-23 school year to help schools with higher food costs and is fully offset. We all want to ensure that children in this country receive healthful and affordable meals to help them focus on their education. This bill will help schools provide those meals as a return to normal. I urge my colleagues to support the bill. And, and again, uh, thank you so much, uh, Senator Stabenow, to you and your staff and uh, to my staff and everyone that's worked so hard to, to come to an agreement. Thank you. Mr. President. The Majority Leader. Mr. President, tonight the Senate is passing bipartisan legislation that will keep America's school kids fed for the summer. A hungry child is a horrible thing to see. And because of the amazing, persistent work of a great team, a great bipartisan team, Senator Stabenow, Chairman of the Agriculture Committee, Senator Bozeman, Ranking Member of the Agriculture Committee, that won't happen. The worst of the pandemic is hopefully behind us, but schools across the country are still suffering from the challenges that COVID created. Supply chain issues making it harder to provide students the free meals they need to stay healthy over the summer. It would have been just awful, awful for the Senate to leave without taking action to make sure we provided the waivers necessary to make sure kids can get the free meals they need over the summer. Kids deserve to be healthy, they deserve to be well fed, and by extending these nutrition waivers before they expire, we can make sure that no student will have to worry about where they're going to get their lunch during the summer. There's no justification in the world for letting these waivers come to an end, and the good, persistent, steady, hard work of Senators Stabenow and Bozeman made sure that didn't happen. 